everybody, it is Kara here at Knowledge Work Nexus. Welcome back to my channel. And I am here with some what I think you'll find exciting news. I am actually going to rebuild my entire Obsidian Vault from scratch and I'm going to bring you along for the ride. So there are a lot of reasons why I'm doing this. I'm not doing it lightly by any stretch of the imagination. I am recording this uh, late September 2022 and I've only been using Obsidian since February. When I started using it, I, I didn't know if I'd stick with it. I have shiny object syndrome, probably worse than just about anybody else does. And even though a lot of people that I respected, like Nicole Vanderhoeven and uh, Danny Hatcher, were using Obsidian, I didn't know if it would stick for me. And so I just wasn't sure. And so my vault just has a ton of stuff in it and a ton of testing stuff in it. When I first started, I didn't know the first thing about data view or like whether I was going to do tags or folders or links or some combination of the two and what the heck was templater and all of these things. And so I've tested a lot of that actually in my primary vault because when I first started using Obsidian, I didn't realize you could just create a new vault and start playing and testing in there, which I do now all the time. I have like 20 vaults where I test things and play around with things and do new experiments and try things and it's great. And I've decided that Obsidian is something I'm gonna stick with because instead of trying to bend Obsidian like I did Notion or Evernote or Rome into like one tool to be all, what I love about Obsidian is that it has become like the hub for my personal operating system. And so while I might not do every single thing in Obsidian, Obsidian is my starting point. And in true Disney fashion, one of my favorite places, it is the hub and all of my spokes go out to all of the other tools that I need, but they all start in Obsidian. I also love Obsidian because I travel a lot for work. And in fact, I, if you can't tell, I'm sitting in a hotel room right now as I record this. Hopefully the, the audio and the sound is good. Um, and I worked on the plane on my iPad in Obsidian today, something that I couldn't do in Notion, something I couldn't do in Rome. Um, they're coming along and I know they're gonna get there, but it just wasn't what I could do. So, a lot of reasons I'm gonna start over here. Um, I have also revised a lot of my processes. When I first came into Obsidian, I was still trying to make GTD work for me. I don't know that I ever did that in the probably, what, 15, 20 years I've been trying. Um, and I have finally, through a lot of iteration, a lot of help and support from RJ Nestor's incredible AP productivity course. I will put a link for that in the description below. Um, I have found a, a reliable, manageable daily planning routine um, sort of a la a, a daily knees. If you've read Dan Charnas's excellent book, Everything in Its Place, I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. Um, I really like that process better. And of course it can work beautifully in my daily note in Obsidian, which is perfect. But there's just a lot of extra garbage in my vault where I have like tried different things and tried to make GTD fit and tried to make using tasks fit as like, like my primary task manager. And sometimes I use data view and sometimes I use tasks and that's okay. You can use both of those. And in my new vault construction, I absolutely will use them together, but I need to do it in a way that makes sense. Um, I also have a much better understanding of what life is now. I left my employer of 25 years in January. I started my own business in February and I started using Obsidian um, either like right before I started my business or right after. I didn't really know what my new life was gonna look like. I've got clients in my, my primary business. I'll put a link to that uh, in the description below if you wanna check it out. I might put it above my head. I don't know, we'll see. Um, and I am producing a lot of content and I'm doing a ton of other things and I know what those workflows look like now. And so it just makes sense to sort of rebuild that in a way that makes perfect sense for it and, and sort of flows the way I want it to flow, makes it easier to find things. Um, and I've, I've sort of got everything in an, in an order that makes more sense to me now too. Um, the nice thing about Obsidian in that regard is that it lets me move without moving. Um, I read a book many, many years ago. Um, it's a Christian fiction book. It's 
really cute little story. And one of the guys describes what his girlfriend wants to do as moving without moving. She wants to like freshen up her apartment and rearrange some of the furniture and get rid of some stuff that doesn't fit anymore. And I can do that with Obsidian because if I decide, oh, well, I just want to bring these 50 notes over, I can do that. They're just markdown files. I just move them from one vault to the other. Or I could even make a second copy of them because they're markdown files. They're super lightweight doesn't really matter if I happen to have two copies of them. So it's it will give me the opportunity to do that. And I, I wanna explore whether this might be like an annual process. So when I get my vault all set up, I'm gonna focus on sort of setting up the vault first and then exporting it sort of like a fallback position or in the old way of software, like a rollback point. And a couple of reasons for that. Number one, I wanna document everything as I'm building it, and then I wanna keep at least a rough change log of the changes that I make to my vault, um, because I, I just think that'll be helpful for me as I'm working through new structures and new strategies as new things happen, because they will, I'll be able to see exactly what decisions I made and sort of why I made them if I do the documentation well. And I can always go back to this fallback position and then I can use my change log to navigate up to like a new version if I want to. Um, I will probably release that sort of base vault um, for sale on Gumroad. So if you're interested in that and you follow along with this series, um, please be sure to check that out. I'd love to, love to know about that. Um, I am gonna build a user manual sort of as I go along, mostly for myself, but that will be useful for there as well. Um, and again, I want to build some good content. I started the idea of my my sort of Obsidian build tour with the base vault I had, and it just, I couldn't figure out how to do it. Like, what do I show and how do I make this work? And now I think for somebody who wants to build from the ground up and doesn't want to see things only in a completely like used and, and ready vault, I'm going to do that. So. If you're interested in that, follow along. I'll probably be releasing a video about once a week, and I hope that you will join me on this journey. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. Have a plugin you want me to try out and demonstrate for you? I will be happy to try it. Hit me up in the comments below. Just have questions as we're going along. Hit me up in the comments below. Don't forget, like or subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye, everybody.